These videos were originally intended for my own amazing grandkids, Maya, Jacob, Zachary, Amelia and Inika. But we thought, having made them, why not let everybody play? April 2020, all of our lives have been turned upside down with this coronavirus. So we've been looking for things to amuse ourselves at DIY Doctor. Um, and our sister building company, Foundations Up, we just need to have some fun during the day. Um, and so we thought we'd try a few science experiments. Then, it, then we kind of figured you might get something out of them as well. So this is for all the people stuck indoors uh, that have got a few of these bits and pieces. I had no idea how much stuff scientists need. Um, but we hope you have fun with it and we're going to be making some cool stuff. Okay, so for our first experiment at home, you're going to need a roll of roofing felt, um, a little drill, a gallon of creosote, and a chop saw. Not really. Welcome to another DIY Doctor Science experiment. Um, you're going to need, this one is amazing, this is a marshmallow catapult, it's going to be so much fun. You're going to need some marshmallows, seven I think, all together, including the one that you're going to fire. Um, a couple of small elastic bands or a long elastic band, some tape, a spoon, we've got a plastic spoon because the canteen lady in our workshop wouldn't let us have a metal one, she doesn't trust us with stuff like that. Um, a spoon and some uh, barbecue skewers, wooden skewers. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is tape the spoon to the skewer. Um, I'm not going to do that now, I'm going to cheat and in true Blue Peter style I'm going to show you one we made earlier. Okay, so skewer and spoon taped together, put that to one side. And then we're going to get our marshmallows, I hope you can see this clearly. And we're going to form the base of our catapult by putting the skewers in to three marshmallows. Now try and keep the wide side, if your marshmallows are the same as mine, keep the wide side of the marshmallow flat on the ground. Okay, and we have formed a triangular base. And that's quite strong in all directions. Now we're going upwards through the top of the base with three more skewers and you'll notice that they're pointing in at a slight angle. It doesn't really matter what angle because the marshmallows are a bit forgiving so they will allow us to put the top marshmallow into place by pushing the sticks into them. So there we've got a perfect pyramid and that's the base for our marshmallow catapult. Now if you've got short elastic bands as I have here I'm going to loop one over the other one. Can you see that clearly? And then I'm going to push one end of that through there so we can tie two together. Okay? And that gives us a longer elastic band. I'm going to drop that over the top of the top marshmallow and all three sticks. You can see that goes over the top of all three of them. Okay. And then I'm going to point this at the cameraman because that's fun. And then I'm going to get our spoon taped to the end of our skewer. I'm going to put it through. Can you see that clearly? I'm going to push that through the bottom of the bands and into the marshmallow and that is our firing mechanism okay now you can experiment with this to see how levers and forces work by moving this rubber band backwards and forwards up the firing pin so let's turn that around so you can see that properly okay this rubber band because we've made it longer will move up and down so we can see when we pull down how far how much force that arm gives so if we move it into the middle you can feel it goes down a little bit more easily 
If we move it up to the top, that's quite hard to pull down. Okay, so what we're going to do now is load our weapon. Now we've also bought some small marshmallows to demonstrate this. Let's hope the camera, I'm not actually firing at the cameraman, I'm just going to fire it up in the air. Hopefully you'll see it working. That's a whole lot of fun. And because they're marshmallows, they won't hurt anybody. Let's turn it around so we can get a shot for all sides. This is my favourite experiment. <laughs> so by moving the elastic band up and down, we can get more or less force and fire the marshmallows further and further. I hope you've enjoyed that. It's another science experiment from DIY Doctor.